Hey guys, it's Rachel. I know this lighting is horrible. I look horrible. But I was editing my video and I realized I had no intro, so I had to film an intro, obviously. So today I am sharing with you guys my makeup collection. Again, this isn't to brag or anything. The same disclaimer that every YouTube or makes when they show their collection. It's just to share with you guys what I have. I love watching collection videos. I'm super nosy and I love seeing what everyone has, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to make my own collection videos. I did this kind of video I think two years ago and I want to update you guys on how my collection has changed organizational wise and product wise. Before I used to keep all the makeup that I received and I would just have a bunch of products I never used or didn't like just sitting in my collection collecting dust and now I really downsized my collection into products I really truly love and everything in my collection I use all the time so I'm really proud about that so I wanted to share with you guys my collection and things like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So this is I guess my vanity makeup area. It's in front of a window which is great for like a natural light when I do my makeup. It's a little bit hard to show you guys my actual collection because the light's kind of making it weird to film this area. But yeah, this is what it looks like overall. Basically all my makeup is sitting in drawers on top of like a little side table I don't really use anymore and like a little shelving a unit. Um, most of my drawers come from TJ Maxx. I like love their organizational section. Starting off with this little section of my vanity area. This is like the makeup that I reach for on a more everyday basis and I rotate through a lot. So my palettes are up here, little products I use a lot, um, setting sprays, these are some new products I wanted to get myself to try out more, face products I use every day, eye products I use every day. Um, the face products I like to rotate through and then all my eye products because I love rotating through my eye products. All of these organizational things from TJ Maxx. So sitting on top of my first stack of drawers, I have my palettes sitting here. And I just have two Kingwin products here because they come in really weird packaging so they're super hard to store. I just have one of their gel fix um, eyeliners in shade purple. And then I have a tinted lip balm in the shade Big Apple. And then I have all my palettes sitting here in a letter holder. This makes my organizing my palette so much easier. Um, I have a Tarte Light palette. I have the Be Magnificent palette from Tarte. Then I have Urban Decay Naked 2 and Naked 3. So that's what I have up here. And I really love the whole letter holder thing. It really makes things really awesome and it just looks cute. It's great to organize palettes in, like your bigger palettes. So in the top drawer, I have all of the face products that I use on like an everyday basis. So I have my primer, which is the BB Primer. Prime Time from Bare Minerals, Estee Lauder Double Wear, Wet n Wild Cover All Foundation, I have Physicians Formula Mineral Pressed Powder in the shade Beige. This is a Bare Minerals All Over Radiance in the shade Bare Radiance. This is kind of like a pinky toned highlighter blush kind of thing. And then I have a Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. So that's just what's in there. And then in the bottom drawer here, I have some eye products that I use like on an everyday basis. So I have of uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, trying to use that up. Uh, Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara, trying to use that up as well. Makeup Forever Aqua Cream Aqua Shadow in the shade 28E. A little sample of the primer potion from Urban Decay, and then my Milani primer as well. So then I also have some more eye products in this drawer. I oh I have a face one face product in here. It's the Bare Minerals concealer and well rested. Then I have my everyday base which is my Maybelline color tattoo and just beige. Um, my eyeliner um, makeup forever aqua cream and then I also have my Anastasia dip brow pomade in, in this drawer as well. So in the bottom section I have more products that I use like I just rotate through and I like having them easily accessible in front of me. So I have my Sephora Los Cabos bronzer which you all have seen before. I use this quite a lot. Um, this is a new Chanel blush that I got in the shade Plum Attraction. Like, look how pretty that is. So pretty. Um, I have my NARS Contour. What is this? I think it's called a Contour Blush or something. And this is in the shade Paloma. That's what that looks like. This is my Bare Minerals Blush in the one. And then I also have my Laura Mercier Baked Radiance Powder and Highlight. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. And then I also have my MAC for Longwear in NC30 and my brow gel from Maybelline in the shade Dark Brown. The drawer here has more face products in it. So it's my Physicians Formula Nude Wear Shimmer Strip thingy. Yeah. And then I have Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy um, Foundation. And then I have um, the NARS Blush in Sin, which is like one of my favorite blushes. 
another favorite blush is the Kat Von D one in Bellissima. And then I have a L'Oreal Shocking Extensions, which I am in love with right now. But it is Bobbi Brown BB Cream in the shade Medium. And then a What's Up Mini by Benefit. And then lastly, more face products like to rotate through. This is a Faux Tan by Bare Minerals. Um, Luminoso by Milani. This is the Copper, I think, what is this? Copper Diamond Shimmer Brick. Oh, look at it in all its glory. So beautiful. And then I also have the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Light in the shade Bare Light. It's a little liquid illuminator. And then this is another highlighter, which is Reserve Your Cabana by Wet n Wild, which is super natural looking, and mine broke, which is why it is pressed weirdly. This is my next little tower of drawers. I have all my lip products I use on a more everyday basis. Um, I don't change up my lip products that often, so I just like keeping the ones I use a lot, like, out and ready for me to use. So it's the Revlon Matte Balm in Solitary, Revlon Kissable Balm Stain in Honey, Lightyear Show Off Lip Lacquer by Rimmel. This is Discontinued, I believe, and this is Revlon's Peach Petal. Rimmel's New Delight, um, Maybelline Color Elixir in Mauve Mystique. Then I have B52 by NYX. I love this shade so much. Um, this is also Discontinued. This is Revlon's Soft Nude. Baird All by Wet n Wild, Raven Raisin by Wet n Wild, then I have a little Bite Duo in Musk and Lychee, and then I also have a Buxom Leslie, then up here I have some sponge tip applicators, my eyebrow brush, which is the Anastasia number 12 brush, and then just a little Kabuki. And then on the side of these drawers, I keep my setting sprays, so back here I have my Urban Decay D Slick setting spray, and the L'Oreal Infallible and the D-Slick Mini by Urban Decay as well. They just fit there nicely, so I keep them over there. And then up here, I have some powders that I didn't know where to put, so I put them here. And then here, just has some new products that I want to use more. So in this one right here, I just have my Makeup Forever Room Matte Loose Powder. This is new, the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I do not like that. And I also have the e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Foundation. I just put them in the top shelf. I don't know why. And then in the second shelf, I have a bunch of new makeup that I want to kind of play around with more. So I have my big highlight by e.l.f. in the shade Min Moonlight Pearls, um, an e.l.f. Mineral Bronzer in the shade Beach Bronze. That's what this looks like. Then I also have a new Mineral Blush by e.l.f. and this is in the shade Wanderlust. I have some lip products by e.l.f. I have two liquid lipsticks here. This one is in the shade Maple Sugar. This one is in the shade, I think, Bark. And then I have two matte lip crayons. This one is in Praline. This one's in Rich Red. And lastly, in this drawer, I have the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer in the shade Turks and Caicos. And then in these bottom three drawers right here are just all my eye products. So I have small palettes in here cream shadows in here, and I have single powder shadows. Sort of off with my little um, smaller palette. Um, I have this L'Oreal Cup of Joe Quad. Oh my god, I love this. Every beginner needs this. It has the perfect blending shade, and it's from the drugstore. This is a limited edition Wet n Wild one in the shade Smoke and Melrose. That's just a random coastal scent that I popped out of a sample. Oh, this is my new baby. This is my Dior. Um, I can't pronounce the word. I think it's Cure Crenage. I think. Oh, new baby. I love this palette. It's my perfect palette, honestly. Um, this Bare Minerals Duo in Epiphany looks like that. This Cargo Duo, I can't even open. It's really hard to open, but actually, let me try. Yeah, never mind. This is really hard to open. Um, this cargo packaging is really weird. Basically, there's a gold shade and a khaki, like, olive shade in here that has no name on the back or anything. It just has some, like, numbers, but I don't know what the numbers mean. So, if this means anything to you, that's what that means. Um, I have an Inglot I made for, like, my 15th birthday or something like that. This is, like, the Freedom System. So these are what my shades look like. And then the last little palette I have in here is from Maybelline. This is Mad for Mauve. I might give this away, I'm not sure yet, but yeah, that's what that looks like. So this drawer is a little bit crazy. Um, this is all of my cream shadows and eyeliners and primers. So I have all my Maybelline color tattoos over here. Pomegranate Punk, that's the bronze, barely beige, um, what's this one? 
Nude Compliments, I think. Yeah, Nude Compliment. This is an e.l.f. Luster Shadow in Soiree. Another Maybelline color tattoo in the shade Inks and Pink. My new beloved um, Smudge Pot. This is Ain't That Sweet. Um, Gotta Glow and Back to Base. No, yeah, Back to Basics. These are new. I love these e.l.f. Smudge Pots. Um, I have two Urban Decay little primer thingies from the Naked 3 palette. These are all my, like, eyeliners. I don't really use eyeliner that much, like pencil form, but I have a bunch just in case, I guess. So, a Cargo Khaki Liner, Urban Decay 24-7 and Zero. This is a Kiko's, I think, Twinkle Eye Eyeliner in the shade Gold. This is also a Kiko Twinkle, I think, eyeliner. I don't remember the thing rubbed off. Um, I forgot the shade of this one. This is actually really good eyeliner. This is L'Oreal Color Reach Liner in the shade White. I, this lasts really well. It's super pigmented. Um, I have another 24-7 in the shade Woodstock. And then I have this Elizabeth Mott, I believe. Shadow, uh, I guess, pencil in the shade Pearl. And then I also have, let's see, I have this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Topaz Twinkle. A little Bare Minerals Prime Time Eye Primer Sample. I have a NARS Pro Prime, a Holy Grail Primer. Then I have another Aqua, Aqua Shadow from Makeup Forever in the shade 20E. And then I have a Milani Shadow Eyes in the shade Almond Cream. My last drawer here with all my single eyeshadows. And then I also have two brow products just randomly sitting in here. This is e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit. I got that recently. And also my Anastasia powder in the shade Ebony. Yeah, I don't use it so much anymore. But. So, yeah, going through my singles. Um, I got rid of a lot of singles. I keep, I know this is in this packaging still. This is in the shade, I can't pronounce it. Hold on, let me get it out for you guys. This is from the Aquatic, something aquatic I think collection this is the shade I don't know how to pronounce that but this is I literally bought this just for the packaging because you see these little water droplets on it it's so cute this is what it looks like it's a really pretty bronzy shade and then just continuing along with my other MAC eyeshadows I have satin taupe which uh broke so I kind of fixed that one and then I also have this one over here and this is in the shade arena which is a really pretty lid shade it's like a peachy satin shade I have two L'Oreal Infallibles. This one is an Amber Rush. This was limited edition in the shade Blinked and Brilliant. Um, I have an Urban Decay Moon, I think, what are these called? Moon Dust eyeshadows or something? Um, I got this in an Ipsy bag. I don't really use it. It's the shade Moon Spoon. It's a really pretty glittery eyeshadow, like crazy glitter. I don't really use it that often. I have this Bella Terra Mineral eyeshadow. It's like a purpley shade. I'm not going to open it. It's very messy. I have Three Milani um, Bella Eyes. This is Bella Ivory, Bella Cafe, and Bella Champagne. All very pretty. This, I love this. This is the NYX Sparkle Eye Dust in the shade Pink Topaz. It has like a doe foot applicator. It's kind of weird. It can be a little bit messy, but oh my god, the effect of this is so pretty. And then lastly, I just have this mineral eyeshadow from Salty Cosmetics. It's like an indie brand, and it's in the shade Glamazoid. So this is the second half of my makeup storage. So this thing is from TJ Maxx I got it for Christmas. I am in love with it. This stores the makeup that I don't use on an everyday basis and I don't reach for a lot. This is like the products that are in rotation right now. All my brushes are over here. I'm not going to go into it. Um, maybe it's another video to do. <laughs> and then here I have a little candle from Bath & Body Works that I used up. And this just has like my eyelash curler, hair ties, eyelid tape eyelash pads, oil blotting things, lip balm, clip, and I have a homemade little spot brush cleaner just sitting there. And then I also have this e.l.f. UV, UV SPF sunscreen powder that I, so huge, I don't know where else to put it, so. So the top drawer of this um, drawer system is my primers. I have uh, True Complexion by Back Black Radiance. This is the Shine Control Primer. I have my Cover Effect Blemish Treatment Primer. Laura Mercier Radiance Primer, which is really, this is a really pretty primer. Um, number seven, Beautifully Matte Primer, Becca Evermatte. Kigo Matte Base is the same as Becca Evermatte, and it's so much cheaper. If you're in the UK, you should buy this. It's amazing. And then I also have a little baby prime time. And then the second drawer has all of my face makeup. So I have this Tarte foundation that I don't really use because it doesn't match me. 
Um, I have my Bare Minerals Max. Um, this is a Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I still Laura Double Wear Light. Laura Merce, what am I saying? L'Oreal True Match. And then my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This drawer has all of the concealers I'm not currently using. I have a Makeup Forever Full Cover, um, Hard Candy Glamouflage, which is strangely similar to this one, but this one's a little bit, little bit uh, thinner in consistency. And then I have Elf Maximum Coverage. This is actually a pretty good concealer. Um, then I have a little Bare Minerals Mineral Veil chilling back there. Uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer uh, Cover Effect Conceal RX. Uh, Physicians Formula Concealer. This little baby pencil came with my Glamouflage. This is a hard candy concealer. I use this to kind of fix up my lip line. And I have two um, multi-casting face powders by Bare Minerals in the shade Summer Bisque and Honey Bisque. And then I have this corrector that's also discontinued um, by CoverGirl. This is amazing. It's a yellow tone corrector and it's great for brightening up your under eyes. The next drawer has some blushes and bronzers that aren't in rotation. I have these My Couture highlight papers that I never really use, but they look really cool, so I keep them. I'm a Smack Blush and Pinch Me. I have a uh, NYX Blush. No, no, no. Wait, this MAC Blush is in Pinched. This NYX Blush is in Pinched Me. And then I have this um, NYC Sun Bronze for like warming up my face in the shade Montauk Bronze. And then I have um, NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Natural. Um, this is a Sunny Kashuk Undetectable Cream Bronzer in the shade Rich Bronze. This is where I keep my little sample of Hula by Benefit. And then this is just Nars' Orgasm Blush. And then my, oh, oh wait, I forgot to put you back in. The last drawer is very, very messy. It has my lip products. Storing lip products is a pain in the butt. I have so much lip products. I don't know why. I don't even really like lip products, but yeah. So my last drawer here has lip products in it. So, so when you open it, it looks like this and it looks super messy, but I swear it's organized in my head. So on top are the lip liners I use a lot. But underneath them, I have the lip balms that I use a lot. And then in the back are just lip products I don't really touch that often. So these are all my lip liners. I have MAC Night Moth, MAC Stone, um, Milani Brandy, um, Rock and Rose by Jordana. Then I have an e.l.f. matte lip color in, what is this, Tea Rose? And then in the front, I have lip colors that I use in this often. So I have my Makeup Academy lip lacquer in the shade Magenta. And then I have Revlon Kissable Bomb Stain in Crush, Precious, and Rendezvous. I have this black lipstick called Pagan Angel by Wet n Wild. Oh, this is amazing. I have a random Wet n Wild lip liner. I don't know why I have that. Um, baby lips and on the electric shade. This is Rockin' Rose. No. What is this? Strike a Rose. I have two of the Wet n Wild lipsticks. This is in the shade Vamp It Up, which is super dark. And what is this one called? Cherry Bomb. Back here are the products I don't use that often. So I have the Riri Matte Loves Mac Gloss I, in Riri, Riri Woo. I don't know what kind of gloss this is, to be honest. Um, I got it for Christmas present. Um, I have a Color Lexer in the shade Intoxicating Spice. I have this Bare Minerals Gloss in Spark Plug. And then I have this other Bar Bare Minerals Moxie Buttercream in the shade Must Have Pink. I have two more Bite Duos. One is in... Palomino and Violet, which is like the bright one, and then I have the red one, which is Poppy and Scarlet. And then all the way back here, I have um, a Laura Mercier lip gloss. I don't know what these are called, and it's in the shade Rose. So guys, that is my overall collection. The sun has set while I was doing this video, so the lighting's a little bit weird now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it interesting, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!